Well now. It's nice to see you. I must say you're looking especially fresh this evening. You're probably wondering why you're here. Well, aren't we all wondering why we're here? I've got a little story to tell, if you've got some time. How does the story start? Hmm. I'd like to say that it started in classic film noir fashion with a dame. <sighs> if only it were that easy. It started a long time before that. In Germany about 400 years ago. But I'm getting a little ahead of myself. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Sean. With a Z from the throat. I am a vampire. I am 412 years old. I was sired in Germany at the tender age of 19. I was sired by a very, very powerful vampire. more evil than you can imagine. But there is a dame involved. A woman. Her name is Justine. I met her. Briefly. She was unlike anyone I had met. Human. I, had, I entertained no thoughts of turning her. Or feeding on her. She was different. Some people say she was batshit crazy. That made her even more endearing. But everybody wants her. My sire wants her. The creatures that work for my sire wants her. I haven't seen her. I have no idea where she is. She disappeared. Almost as quickly as I found her, she disappeared into thin air. So I decided the first place to look was in the house of my sire. So I walked in. So there I am, in the house of my sire, being actively tortured, <sighs> feet and toes smashed, oh, I even had an eyeball removed. <laughs> that was interesting. Oh, and the teeth. Luckily, it all grows back after a while. They shocked me, they drugged me. It was an entertaining six months. I found nothing, I found out nothing about Justine while I was there. They found nothing for me either. 
We both had nothing. But I found something. I decided to turn my torturer. I was planning on just eating him and getting out of there. But an opportunity presented itself. I decided to turn him into a vampire. I don't turn anyone. The last few times I turned anyone, three times actually, each one ended in disaster. That is another story. He's different than the others, different than any human I've met, different than any vampire. He looks different even, acts different. He's volatile. Right now, I'm not sure whether he's going to be a liability or an asset. He's proven to be quite difficult. Time will tell. Oh yeah, there's another player. Her name is Merle. Did I tell you? She works for the bishop. She works for my sire. She works for that bastard. And for some reason, she's helping us. Reluctantly, so it appears. I don't trust her for a minute. She's given us some sob story. I think there's a lot more going on than she's willing to share. So how does this all come together? Why are we all here? That damn prophecy. Ugh. Prophecies. Don't get me started about prophecies. I have learned in my long life not to believe everything you read. No matter what kind of parchment it's written on or how old it is or what language it's in. It's all the writings of one man. But my sire, the bishop, he stakes his existence, his life on this prophecy. And I've heard in the shadows whispered by other vampires that Justine is involved in this prophecy. I have a feeling I'm going to get sucked into. I don't like being involved in organized anything. Because you know what that usually ends up involving? Lynch mobs. Torches. And me losing another body part. No thank you. But we'll have to play the game. that's what this is all about. A game. Where everyone is on their little square. So it is this prophecy we need to find out about. We're all linked somehow, but I'm not sure how yet. I have a feeling we'll find out soon enough. I do hope you stay and find out with me. I think it's going to be delicious fun. Well, I've taken enough of your time. I think I'm gonna go.